Last year, we made a comparison between the Blackshark 3 Pro and also the ROG Phone 3. So this year, we're doing it again with the Blackshark 4 and also the ROG Phone 5. But this year, they have changed a lot between these two phones and now they are even closer and more similar to each other. At this time of recording though, the Black Shark 4 Pro is still unavailable outside of China, so we only have the Black Shark 4 with us for this comparison. So let's first begin by talking about the screens. These two phones are using AMOLED screens, they are both at 2400 by 1080 pixels in resolution, and both of them now run at 144Hz as well, and they both also have DC dimming options to prevent eye fatigue. Unfortunately though, I would say that the Black Shark 4 got a downgrade because the Black Shark 3 Pro comes with a 1440p resolution screen, and yet the Black Shark 4 got upgraded to 144Hz as well. But overall though, in terms of screen, the ROG Phone 5 definitely got an upgrade from 120 to 144 hertz but it's definitely not that big of an upgrade both the screen on the rg phone 5 and also the black shark 4 looks amazing but in terms of screen size obviously the rg phone 5 is slightly bigger the bezels of the screen on the black shark 4 is also smaller but that is because it's using a side firing stereo speaker as opposed to the rg phone 5's true front facing stereo speakers and mm, I would say the speakers on the ROG Phone 5 is just definitely better in all aspects, not only in terms of sound quality, but also in terms of quality of life when you're using it to play games, because playing games on the Black Shark 4 is just, you need to keep a mindful of not to cover the speakers so that you can still hear what's going on, which I find that to be very annoying. And then comes the triggers, and oh boy, that is a tough one. The ROG Phone 3 in terms of triggers was disappointing. So this year, ROG Phone 5 still mostly kept along the lines of the ROG Phone 3 in terms of its triggers if you look at the phone itself. But if you have other accessories, for example, the brand new Aeroactive Cooler 5, which is a separate purchase, then you have two more buttons at the back for you to press. And again, that's a separate accessory that you need to pay even more money just to get those two buttons. The Black Shark 4 on the other hand has these magnetic pop-up triggers. It's technically slightly different from the Black Shark 3 Pro but it just works the same way and yet now it's usable outside of games as well so you can customize them to do something else albeit the options are not really that open. I do feel like the implementation is not that good but it's there if you want to use it. And in terms of performance, this ROG Phone 5 is using the Snapdragon 888 chipset whereas the Black Shark 4 is using the Snapdragon 870. Personally speaking, I prefer the Black Shark 4 a lot more because number one, I don't really need to play my games at the highest possible graphical settings and number two, I don't want any excessive heat that comes along with the Snapdragon 888 chipset. So essentially, this phone is still going to perform really well for games like COD Mobile, PUBG Mobile and whatnot. It's just that 888 games wouldn't run as smooth at higher graphical settings when compared to the ROG Phone 5. But also, I can play games for a longer amount of time because this phone doesn't heat up that much. And that is because the Snapdragon 870 is essentially an overclock version of the Snapdragon 865 which is still very powerful and the Black Shark 4, even though it's using the same chipset as the Poco F3, this phone is optimized enough to handle all of the heat that comes out of this chip so that it is comfortable to use compared to the Poco F3. A few more quick things to highlight here, both the Black Shark 4 and also the ROG Phone 5 have audio jacks. Thank you ROG for listening to our complaints and putting the audio jack back into your phone. And both of these phones also have HDMI output over Type-C, so you can stream your games using OBS, which we also have a guide on that, so you can also check it out at the top right corner there as well. And the Black Shark 4, they've removed all RGB from this phone as compared to the Black Shark 3. As you can see here, you got RGB on the Black Shark logo and also these two little strips here but the Black Shark 4 doesn't have any RGB 
ROG phone though, of course, you still have the RGB on the ASUS logo at the back here. And now comes the price. The Black Shark 4 is actually officially starting at only 1,999 ringgit, whereby the ROG Phone 5 starts at 2,999. It's obviously gonna be a lot more expensive for the ROG Phone 5 if you wanna get a decent gaming experience because the Aeroactive Cooler 5 is also another separate purchase just for those two buttons and a fan, which that accessory is officially priced at 149 ringgit, but from what I can see though, Shopee and Lazada, there are a lot of scalpers, so that fan essentially is going at about 300 ringgit in the market right now. So yeah, it's gonna be tough to find as well. And at the end, which of these two phones should you actually buy if you wanna play games on your phone? Well, I would say they are both very similar to each other this time around, but the conclusion still remains the same as last year. If you have more accessories to play your games with, for example, let's just say Xbox controller. If you want to use more accessories and better software support for those third-party accessories, then the ROG Phone 5 is still going to be better. But the Black Shark 4, like the Black Shark 3 Pro, if you are just going to play games on your phone, then this is the one to get because everything is built in and you don't need any other accessories to get a decent gaming experience. And the last point that I think is worth highlighting is the software support for these two phones. Now, ROG and Black Shark is not particularly well known for its software support, but I would say ROG is better in terms of software support as compared to the Black Shark company in general because this phone's last update was in April, but the Black Shark 3 Pro last update is on 2nd February 2021. So yeah, if software updates are important to you, then maybe consider getting the ROG Phone 5. But then again, if you're just going to play games on your phone, I don't think software update really matters that much. So yeah, that's it. That's all we have to share with you about the comparison between the ROG Phone 5 and also the Black Shark 4. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to answer them. And we'll see you guys in the next video.